which there's almost no documentation that comes with this, of course. Good morning, YouTube. This is Cruise Man. Back for another Cruise Man's Moto Vlog. It is the day after Super Bowl Sunday, so I guess you call it Super Bowl Monday. And um, just going out for lunch to meet a friend up here at Culver's. They have a pretty decent burger. Thought we'd try that. But I uh, wanted to have a chance to do a quick motor vlog. I'm doing some testing with this new GoPro Hero 8 Media Mod. You'll notice uh, the camera on my helmet is a little different than normal. I got the media mod in last week, and this is probably the fifth time I've tried to do a moto vlog using the Purple Panda Lavalier microphone plugged into the back of this media mod. Uh, the media mod has its own shotgun mic, but it also, it's, it's basically made for vloggers. But it also has a 3.5 millimeter uh, jack where you can plug in a external microphone. So every time I've tested this up till now, and I don't know how this one turns out yet till I get back to the computer, all of the sound is very muted. It just doesn't seem to be, it's almost like it's using the internal microphone of the GoPro because it's picking up all the ambient sound of the engine and the wind noise, but it's not picking up my voice or not very well. So I did a little research. There's almost no documentation that comes with this, of course. And come to find out that if you're using the quick capture feature with the media mod installed it doesn't work unless you have a powered microphone so I'm hoping that is what was causing my problem basically it means you have to turn the GoPro on first and then hit the record button uh, but I usually use what's called quick capture where the when the GoPro is turned off you just press the record button and it turns the camera on and starts recording but there is a thread out there on GoPro support that said quick capture doesn't work with the media mod so we'll find out when I get back if I actually have audio I'm gonna close my face shield and see if that makes a difference too it's a little windy today Really pretty nice weather. It's uh, 66 degrees right now, but it's a little windy today. I went for a ride yesterday, and it, it, you're not going to believe this. It was 80 degrees on February the 2nd. I went out for a little ride and actually tried to do a motor vlog. And I was going to have I was going to try to post it yesterday and have you all put comments in about who your pick was for the Super Bowl. But since I didn't get that done in time, I'll ask you now, did your team win? Put it in the comments down below. I want to hear what your thoughts are about the Super Bowl. I thought the first half was kind of boring. But in the second half, uh, Pat Patrick Mahomes came alive. And I thought it was a really exciting ending to watch them come back. Like they have done all through the playoffs. They seem to come from behind. And I think they were down 10 points, or 7 points, I'm not sure which, with only 6 or 7 minutes left in the game, and they came back and won the game. Pretty handily, actually. So what were your thoughts about the Super Bowl? I thought it, was, it turned out to be a pretty good one. So now that I'm talking about this GoPro, I'll also mention to you I've got the GoPro Hero 7 Black on my handlebar today. And I'm actually going to be selling that GoPro. If any of you are in the market for a GoPro Hero 7 Black, I'm selling that one for $250. I'll include free shipping, and I'll include a 32 gigabyte high-speed SanDisk card to go in it, so you can record up to 4K with that. 
Uh, I think they sell for about $329 new. And this one probably has about 16, 17 hours of use on it. So it's almost like new and it is in excellent condition. So new videos coming out. Well, first of all, let me talk about my Muth mirror video. Some of you seen my Muth signal mirror video and it has been a hugely popular video and a lot of you are interested in the Muth signal mirrors. And I did make a mistake in my first ride video where I did the first ride with the Muth mirrors. I said that I had the amber LEDs. As it turns out, I got an email from Muth to correct me. I actually have the red LEDs. Even though they look kind of amber to me, uh, I was told that the red LEDs actually kind of have an orange tint. They look more orange than they do red. So apparently the amber LEDs look really yellow. So anyway, that correction, I have the red LEDs. But I do have the blue glass. I got that part right. And I like the blue glass because I like the way it cuts down on the glare. Somebody coming up from behind you with headlights on. I just think I, I really like that feature. New videos coming out this week. Uh, first of all, I'll be out of town for about a week coming up here shortly. Ricky and I will be on the brand new Carnival Panorama. We will be doing a video and a series of blogs for our other website, cruisereport.com. If you're interested in cruising, check out uh, our other website, cruisereport.com. And we'll be doing some videos from the ship. Uh, some of those may not get posted until we get back just because of the poor, you know, low speed internet on a ship. But we will be doing a thorough review and blog and vlog of the Carnival Panorama. We'll be sailing out of Long Beach, California. I hope to get a couple more videos posted before we go on that trip. So if you haven't done so already, please click the subscribe button. And if you'll click that little bell icon, YouTube will let you know when these new videos come out. The next video that I will be posting will be showing how to install the new Pathfinder LED caliper lights. Now these are very cool and last week I installed these on Don Smith's 2018 Goldwing and Don kind of like me he believes that you can't have too many lights, you can't be too thin, can't be too rich, can't have too many lights. So we added these caliper lights to the front of his Goldwing and they are really super cool. They really complement the cowl lights from Pathfinder LED. And they are plug and play easy to install using the Pathfinder LED plug and play harness. So check out that video. I also have another new product for my 2018 that I hope to be installing in the next day or two. And if the weather cooperates, I will make a video and get that posted before we leave town also. But I don't know if the weather's going to cooperate. We're supposed to start getting some cold and rain today. But we'll just see. Right now it's beautiful. 67 degrees. A little bit windy, but certainly rideable. Put in the comments down below what you thought of the Muth Mirror video and what's the weather like where you live. Are you able to get out and ride right now? I'll also remind you that we're in the last few days of our YouTube promotion for the 2018 Plus Goldwing Maintenance videos. Uh, that promotion will be ending in just the next couple of days. Oh, another piece of news. Thanks to all of you that filled out our survey for 2020 survey on the Goldwing. You have been entered in a drawing for some prizes, and I'm going to announce those. We're going to do it in a video, and it probably will be either tomorrow or Wednesday. So watch, get that notification from YouTube to make sure to see if you are one of our winners. And we will also notify you by email if you are one of the winning entries. We're giving away 16 different prizes. The grand prize is a $100 Amazon gift card. And the first prize, we're giving away five Pathfinder LED work lights, multifunction work lights. And 
And then the second prize, we're giving away 10 Cruise Man's Garage 6 LED pocket lights. So some cool prizes. Want to make sure to watch that video when it comes out. It'll probably be, just be a vlog. It won't be a moto vlog, but I'll just be vlogging. Maybe using my new GoPro Hero 8 Media Mod. So that's just about it for today. There's not much else for me to fill you in on right now without giving away a bunch of secrets. I want to thank you for joining me today, and I will see you on the next Cruise Man's Moto Vlog. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. And if you click the little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. Thanks again for joining us on Cruise Man's Garage.